This is 4426 Hardwood Street in Latson, South Carolina. This is Woodside Manor. This is a view um, down the street, one direction. Notice the neighbor's property here and here, going across the street and coming around. And then a view down the other way. There's a house in ill repair next door. It looks like at some point in time someone was going to do some work that tore the roof off, but um, did not complete or, or get any further. Um, and this work looks like it's been pending for quite some time. There's a old storage shed in the backyard here um, that is metal shed that probably needs to come down. Um, chain link fence that run the nice. The yard has a, a nice size to it. Um, there's some type of pad there. I'm assuming where another storage building was at some point in time, and then even still, perhaps another pad here for another. The HVAC unit is missing. Looks like it um, house also is run off of natural gas. Um, there's a gas stove in on the interior. This is a rear door. This is actually a newer rear door that looks like it's been installed at some point in time. The roof appears to be in fairly good shape. Um, windows appear to have been replaced at some point in time as well. Um, these are vinyl replacements, it appears. This one is cracked and broken. This one here, we'll see from the interior, is actually missing um, or has been broken and taken out. And then, of course, we have here the other windows. Um, on the interior, I'm actually, unfortunately, going to step through the door because the glass is missing on the storm door. The carpet is worn, needs to be replaced. Um, the house has an odor of perhaps a dog at some point in time. Again, you can see the window is missing here, so both um, sashes would need to be replaced. You have chair rail on a sheet rock with paneling across the, across the bottom um, and a vaulted ceiling. This is your dining area here. Have a ceiling fan above it and then this looks into the kitchen area here. You have paneling through here as well. Um, you're missing a cabinet and of course in the corners where the refrigerator would go. House appears to have been replumbed. This appears to be a new plumbing line, a newer plumbing line, which is PEX right there. And then this is your countertop and your cabinets, which appear to be quite worn. And then there's a gas range here. The garage at some point in time on the house appears to have been converted. This is a storage room. Um, your hot water heater is here, and this is a gas hot water heater. Um, and then dryer hookup and connection here. So a very large laundry area, and then of course you have, excuse me, your electrical panel here. The electrical panel is actually a 100 amp service. Code currently is 200. Uh, most houses I see in this neighborhood and area are anywhere from 150 to anywhere from 150 to 200. So um, again, it, it definitely has a smaller, um, small electrical service on the house. The kitchen has ceramic tile. This area here appears or feels to be um, some sort of laminate. And then we hit carpet again here. Again, the carpet throughout the house is very worn, would need to be replaced. Uh, again, it also smells as if there was an animal in the home at some point in time. Um, you have paneling along the walls here. Then you have a bathroom here. tub with, your, with us around there and then you have another bedroom here at some point in time again they cut in looks like access um, to put the water and stuff back in right here so there's the access there where they drop water lines and then again the same thing here in the ceiling and then this is actually the master there's only one bath in the entire house so it's a three bedroom, one bath. And again, they've cut, the, the sheetrock has been cut there as well. Looks like where there was a plumbing line ran um, for the outside faucet. Um, some miscellaneous touch-ups. Biggest items appear to be flooring needs to be 
taking out um, paneling or sheetrock work, depending upon what the new owner decides to put in. Um, roof appears again be in fairly good shape, which I will take a picture of now, or give a view of now, and then also replacement of the um, HVAC unit that is missing on the exterior. And there's a view of the roof from the front. Any questions, please contact us at Colin J. Millett and Associates, your real estate resource.